track mats are new in Camtasia 2020. Now, what is a track mat? Well, think of a track mat as cutting out a shape. All right, so we cut out this shape. And you can't really see what's happening over here, but you can see what's happening here, but not anything behind it. And that's really what a track mat is. We're cutting out some shape. It could be a triangle like we just saw. It could be a circle. Um, and you just let people see what's behind that shape. Now, the most common things that people use this for would be if you wanted to put your head in a circle. That's a very common Camtasia request. How do I record my head so that it's circular? We can now do that with track mats. Another common thing that people can do with track mats is use text and then show um, some kind of animation behind the text or through the text. And I'll show you how to do both of those things here in this video. We want to put this, let's say, in the lower right. That's often what we do if we have a talking head on our screen. It'll be in the lower right. Now, the way these track mats work is, again, they're going to cut out and show whatever's behind it. Now, it does this by showing the track immediately below it. So if I used this shape as a track mat, it doesn't have any media below it. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that I have the shape I want immediately above the video that I want to cut out. The second thing I need to do that's important is I want to make sure that this shape is the entire duration of the video I want to cut out. So I need to extend that duration. Now that I have that, I'm going to right click this eye icon and there is my track mat mode. And I'm going to choose alpha. And when I do that, now I have that video playing in the background. It's not very exciting right now because there's not a whole lot going on, but a little later, we see those dots coming in and going out. And so this way, I've copied, I've just cut out everything except that one part that I want to show. Now, we could do the opposite. If you noticed, there was an alpha invert, and I can show everything except that circle. And so if I wanted to, I could go here in the middle, and if I play through this, then I see the boxes behind instead of the bokeh dots. So what I've chosen to do here is cut out only that circle and leave everything else on the screen. Now, that's not what I want, but what I'll do is I'll change this to none because the next thing I want to show you is text. All right? So I'll just go ahead and delete that annotation. And I'll go to my annotations and over here to text, and I'll grab text. And I want this to be nice and big. So I'm going to grab that text, make it nice and big, and as you see, the box might be big, but the text isn't. All right, well, I can drag this text up, 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 all the way to 256. Still not big enough. Remember, you can go in here and you can type up to 500. All right, that's better. The other thing we can do is we want to choose a thicker font, and I like to use Arial Black for that. There are a lot of great blocky kind of fonts, but here's one that we can use. So I'll go in here and I'll just type something like light. That'll be my mat. And then as I mentioned earlier, we want to make sure that this goes the entire duration of the video. So I'll extend that duration. I'll right click the eye again, choose alpha, and there we go. If I play through this, now I can see those bokeh dots in the background and the word light is here and just showing whatever's behind it. Now, this just cuts out something that's static, something that isn't moving, like the circle or the text. But we could add animations. If I go here, if I have this track selected, I could do a Shift A to add an animation. And maybe here, I'll start with it this size, but then I want it to grow even bigger. All right, so I'm going to use the scroll wheel and scroll down. And what I'm going to do is make this even bigger. So I'm going to grab this, I'm going to scale this up. So that it goes huge like this. And again, it will scroll up to 500. I can go larger. Um, I can put in another zero if I want here and try 5,000. Sure enough, that works. And then I'm going to slide this up just a little bit so I see everything in the background. So now this has gone up to a size where I'm, I'm not actually cutting anything out. And so it's zoomed out really large to this point. Now, in this case, what I might want to do is switch out my background. So instead of the floating boxes, I'll go over to my library and we'll put in the mountain. Okay. Now you don't see anything and that's fine. All right. But what I'll do then is I will come back here. So after it zooms way in, I'm going to do a shift A and I want it to come back. So what I'll do is whatever the settings are here, I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy the properties 
and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to right click and paste those properties. So now let's see what this looks like when I play through. So we have this at this point playing, the boxes are spinning, it goes huge and then it comes back and we have a completely different background. So here is a way for us to make a transition by zooming really far into a word and then having the item in the back change and when we zoom back, we have a completely different video. So there are some neat ways for us to use track mats.